It's only August, so there's still a lot of summer in front of us, and there's prime stargazing opportunities ahead. Brian Leda joins us with August astronomy highlights to get on your calendar. And first up tonight, August, the full moon is going to be happening. What's unique about this one? Yeah, so August is getting off to a hot start. The first night of the month, we have a super moon, which is a moon that appears a little bit bigger, a little bit brighter than normal. It's not going to be gigantic in the sky, but certainly you might take notice of it as you step outside. Also, August's full moon is known as the sturgeon moon because this is the time of year when fishermen would go to the Great Lakes or Lake Champlain and try to catch those fish. What do the conditions look like for the Perseid meteor shower? Yeah, so if you're going to see one meteor shower this year, the Perseids is it because A, it's a really good meteor shower. B, this year it's happening on a weekend, so you might be able to stay up a bit later. And then also on top of all of that, we have, of course, the summer weather outside, so a bit more comfortable for stargazing. Anyone that goes out the night of August 12th to 13th, generally about 40 to 60 meteors per hour. But if you are in a darker area away from light pollution, you could see as many as 100 shooting stars per hour. Uh, so you definitely want to go out and see this event, as long as it's not cloudy, of course. Now, of course, one planet that's always unique is Saturn with its rings. Finding Saturn is on the mind of a lot of astronomy wish lists. This month, not everyone will actually need a telescope. Why is August the best time to see Saturn and the rings? So about once a year, Saturn reaches something that we call opposition, which is a fancy way of saying it's about the time of its orbit where it's closest to the Earth, and that causes it to become a bit brighter in the sky. And you can see it all night long, late in the month and into the start of September, rises in the east right around sunset and continues to stay in the sky all night long, rise, sets in the west around daybreak. Um, no telescope required, but if you have one, uh, you should have no problem seeing those famous rings of Saturn uh, that are well known throughout our solar system. And August actually has another full moon. Tell us about the second full moon. Yeah, so that phrase, once in a blue moon, this is it. Uh, we have two full moons in one month. Last one that we had like this, where we had a blue moon, was back in 2020. And the next one's not happening again until 2026. So really the first time here in about three years and the last time for about another three years. Uh, and that is also going to be a super moon on the night of August 30th. So combine all those nicknames, you have a super blue moon, but kind of similar to the blue or kind of similar to the full moon we're having tonight. It's going to look pretty much similar to every other full moon throughout the year, but definitely want to circle it on your calendar so you don't miss it. We know that the skies have been changing this summer. How much has the Canadian wildfire smoke been impacting stargazing for the summer? Uh, we haven't had any issues yet, but we could see more issues coming up with uh, stargazing and the wildfire smoke impacting that, as not only do we have the Canadian wildfires, but the wildfire season in the U.S. is starting to heat up. So the smoke from those fires combined with the ones in Canada that could send even more plumes of smoke across the United States that could impede stargazing conditions. The AccuWeather astronomy expert Brian Leda, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me and happy stargazing.